Love versus authority. Let's talk about that today. Welcome to True Love Talk. My name is Bridget Irabo, author of True Love, More Than a Love Affair. It's always a pleasure to have these love discussions. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, um, what I want us to talk about here today, love and submission, was actually inspired by a couples meeting that we had recently. And someone had asked the question regarding fellowship with my spouse. What if my spouse wants to listen to some music and I want to watch some movie, watch a movie, or I want to watch a movie my spouse wants to listen to some music or do something else. Uh, when it comes down to it, shouldn't the one in authority be the one to decide? Well, <laughs> since it was a couple's meeting, so I was there, you know, uh, my, my husband, who is also a pastor, was there and he answered the question profoundly. But first, I raised up the, 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 the text uh, in, in Romans, 12:10, where the Bible says that we should prefer one another in love. So that means the easy question, the easy answer to that question that you see right off is that yes, you should, you know, say, oh, like you want to watch a movie, you want to um, listen to music, depending on who. Let's go ahead and do that, and we can always do mine later. That's just the, the easy way that love goes. But the second part of the question, um, not so easy, <laughs> was the part about. Shouldn't the one in authority be the one to decide? And um, the way my husband answered the question was this. He said, God never puts anyone in authority for their own personal gain. It's always for the good of, the, of others and for um, the, the situation at hand. And in the marriage relationship, it's good for the family, for the good of the family is the reason why the husband is in authority, not to oppress. And so that person in authority has the higher responsibility to walk in love, to show love. And the pers that person should be the one to first say, oh, you know what, let's do what you want to do first and then we can do mine later. <laughs> and then we looked at some other examples as well, a situation where, um, you know, people may have had dinner together at home and there's fights, who's going to wash the dishes? It should not be a case of, oh, you do it, you do it. I don't want to do it. It should be a case of, okay, you know what? I'll do it. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. So each person wants to be the one who is giving because the Bible says that it's more blessed to give than to receive. I know this is not common. It's usually a case of other people, you know, trying to get out of the dishes somehow and pretend that the dishes are not there or something, you know, but that's, that's, that's not the way that love goes. Love actually is always looking out to be a blessing. To someone else now he also gave another illustration um you know he, he went out with a, a pastor friend of his and when the time came to when when the time came to pay the bill they were both like okay I want, i'm gonna pay the bill i'm gonna pay the bill the other pastor wanted to pay the bill my husband wanted to pay the bill and at the end of the day the senior pastor said i am the head or i'm the senior here so i get to pay the bill and that was that so that's a good situation to, to use your authority when you're talking about the things of love. <laughs> I thought that was quite an interesting one. Don't you think? That's the way that love flows. That's the way that love goes. And the Bible tells us that it's more blessed to give than to receive. There's so much more joy in giving and it always comes back to you somehow. But you don't, I mean, you're not doing it because you're looking for the reward or looking for it to come back to you. You're doing it because this is who you are. This is who God is. This is what he does for us. And if we walk like this, I'm telling you, the world will definitely be an awesome place to be. So we are really looking forward to heaven, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yes, love and authority flows together like that. I hope you've learned something. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed these times. So I'll see you in another Trill of Talk. Until then, my information is in the description box. You can send me your questions. Send me emails, like, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in another Trill of Talk. God bless.